Okay, we're here uh, in Broadway, Westminster with Dr. Lee uh, Rotherham. We're launching your discerning tourist guide to the end of the world. Now, it's very appropriate we should be here, actually, uh, because, as you mentioned, there are a couple of plague pits not very far from here. Um, and, and disease ha has, on occasion, had a devastating effect uh, on the human race. Um, I think it gets a mention in your book. Where, where do you see maybe disease and plague going? <clears throat> well, hopefully nowhere near Earth. But let's be realistic about this and let's, let's put this into context. We were 100 years ago from the Spanish influenza, which people have conveniently blotted away from the, 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 the public uh, collective memory. So it's, it's, a, it's a relatively recent uh, event within, say, three, four generations from this now. Um, we have obviously had scares recently with uh, outbreaks of Ebola, which caused a massive, uh, massive scare. And quite frankly, so because it was horrific and was happening in, in several countries and killing pregnancies. <laughs> and if you look back at history, we look at the casualty rates for the, the multiple waves of the Black Death. Purely if we look at the, 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 the two principal waves yeah. the in the political Now the first wave, which was a, a much simpler version, and then it went airborne, the second wave. And as a result of that, you had fatality rates uh, ranging from, well, depending if you were lucky, uh, lower, but it, somewhere between potentially a quarter and a third of the population died. Wow. Which is why you have these plague pits. I mean, ones around here aren't even from that period. The ones around here are from the 17th century plague oh, really? pits. The ones which so they just predated not the, the, the big black death. Exactly. No, um, they're the ones that predated the, the, the Great Fire of London. It's a recurring problem, um, which obviously science has, has been able to mitigate because we've got we've got to the bottom of what, what is the actual uh, the, 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 the cause of the, uh, the, the, the symptoms of uh, the <laughs> But there are so many other uh, possibilities of nature, particularly given the high turnaround and lifespan of all these viruses and things that are potentially out there to So it's, I put it in there merely so to remind us not to get complacent. Yeah. I'm not saying, you know, if you start sneezing tomorrow, you know, we're all, we're all doomed. <laughs> um, nor that we should, you know, sort of overcompensate or be some ridiculous uh, uh, attempts to throw lots of money which recently um, come to light over uh, one of the um, uh, uh, vaccination things which happened in the last, last year or two. But that's no reason why we should not learn the lessons of the past in order to clock what the, what the potential worst case scenarios are in the future. Absolutely.